Mule and you down first. Taking their sweet time to put their fists down. There goes the Tommy Fuji. Can't get the left outside. He keeps trying for that grip, but Mule Giryu keeping him at an arm's length, but now a Tommy Fuji lifting him up under the armpit, pulling back for a throw. And that is a way to make lemonade out of lemons. Had a rough start, but manages to find his way in and get that win. Tommy Fuji immediately gets the outside left grip, pulling up, pushing forward. Mitakiyumi trying to resist, but he just can't and steps back out. Slips in the sand. It looks like he didn't expect to uh, get pushed out so easily, but that is 0 and 2 for Mitakeyumi. <laughs> Going low is Atami Fuji, pushing forward, and Kim Bozan gets stood up, slips backwards, and falls. Tommy Fuji for the win. Injured, and who isn't? Tommy Fuji going low, head to head, has a left hand under the armpit with a nice push, but Ryuden counters with the outside right on the belt. Ryuden lowers his head, Atami Fuji breaks the grip, but it's not enough. Atami Fuji back to the edge. Ryuden just needs to push him a few more inches, and Atami Fuji runs around the edge of the ring back to the middle. Ryuden couldn't finish him off. Atami Fuji, now he's on the pull, trying to break the grip with the double outside. That's a move he's definitely felt in practice from the Yokozuna, but pushed all the way back to the edge. Double inside for Ryu Den. Ryu Den still barely has him, but Tommy Fuji doing his best to resist. Cannot relax for a second. Tommy Fuji tries to go around the edge of the ring again. Put back on the Tawada. Stood up, Ryuden can't finish him off. Still trying to break the grip. That left hand does come off. Atami Fuji pulling away around the other side of the ring and he gets it! Atami Fuji! That was some good sumo! Wow! Tommy Fuji immediately gets the grip on the belt, but Kotoeko is a scrappy fighter, tries to dodge to the side, but he is caught in that web. Tommy Fuji trying to push forward, Kotoeko tries the throw to assuage the assault, but it doesn't work. Kotoeko still trying to pull away, Tommy Fuji keeping with it, and will push forward for the Yorikiri. Kotoeko throwing everything but the kitchen sink and even giving Atami Fuji a nosebleed for his troubles. I don't know Umi down. Atami Fuji. Even charge, hopping forward, trying to get the outside left, but it's not gonna happen. Inside right, but Sadano Umi is not letting him get the grip, manipulating him, tossing him, pushing him at the edge. Atami Fuji nearly stepped out, but he will give it up. Sadano Umi full control the entire way through. And Atami Fuji's undefeated streak ends at five. Initial charge will go to Atami Fuji dives and grabs it on Umi by the arm, but Rado Umi has Atami Fuji by both armpits though. Is it over? Outside left under the armpit, I think it is not! Atami Fuji skating around the ring, only delaying the inevitable. He tried, he tried, he tried, was not able to avoid that 5-0 sweep from Hirato Umi. That was a lot of great defensive effort at the edge going all the way around to the other side of the ring, but Hirato Umi just sticking right to him, keeping the pressure on the day. Tommy Fuji down first. Takanosho leans forward, attacks the face, grabs inside, tries to pull, now back on the push, inside right on the belt while Atami Fuji doesn't have a grip on the belt, now he's trying the arm breaker hold, breaks the grip, but Takanosho still pushing forward and thrown down to the side, Atami Fuji, 6 and 2. He's on another level, did you see that Leo Dickinson? Yeah.
Tommy Fuji, will he be able to take the headlong charge? He's the one to charge forward bluntly and gets a good grip on Onosho, steps back for the slap down. A Tommy Fuji, seven and two. He's making a run for it. Onosho falls on his hands. Two Tommy Fuji, low charge, propping up Shonan no Umi, has him at the edge, Shonan no Umi trying to fight back, but no way to do it. A Tommy Fuji with the Kachi Koshi, and now he is also in the lead. Day. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Tommy Fuji. Takes the charge, pushes forward. Shurano Umi had no ground at all, and that's another win with no contest, really. <laughs> They're trying to get through this schedule quick. <laughs> Tommy Fuji takes the charge, overpowers Hoshoryu at first, pulling back, and he gets the throwdown! Arm drags whole show to you all the way across the ring. A Tommy Fuji 10 and 2. To his senpai in the ring. Akiyasu, I think 15 years his senior, takes the charge. Tommy Fuji pushing forward, can't get a grip on the belt. Takiyasu trying to control with double inside, but a Tommy Fuji trying to break that grip. Takiyasu trying a pull, now into a push, Atami Fuji keeping his footing at the edge, tries to get back with a grip on the outside left, Takiyasu trying to control, Atami Fuji going for a pull, a circle around the ring, into the push for the win, Atami Fuji! 11 and 2! Atami Fuji down first, Kirishima, oh, false start! Might be nerves. We saw this last time. Tommy Fuji, you gotta remember, he's young. He's got those nerves. The crowd loves it, though. They're giving him his support. He only just turned 21 in September. Could be the youngest man to you show since Takano Hana. He has to start by getting the win here. Tommy Fuji, down first again. Kirishima takes the charge. Tommy Fuji, great inside right under the armpit. Outside left, underneath the other armpit as well. Trying to control Kirishima, who pushes him up. Tommy Fuji resisting. Kirishima tries to get double inside. There it is. Morozashi grip, not going to work. And it's the Kirishima victory. Great Tachi eye both ways, but Kirishima found his way in double inside, and Atami Fuji will fall. The reigning Ozeki improves to 12 and 2, and we will know tomorrow who his opponent is. It's got to be one of the Ozeki, either Takakesho or Hou Shoryu. And Atami Fuji, he needs to win tomorrow if he wants a chance at that Yusho. An extra second to get their footing. Kortuna Walker to the left, a Tommy Hoochie to the right. A Tommy Hoochie shuffling a bit far from the line. Kortuna Walker roughly standard distance. Kortuna Walker down first. A Tommy Hoochie gathering his result, his spirit. Initial charge goes two. Here we go! Kortuna Walker catches a Tommy Hoochie and lets them slide down. It's over! Kirishima, no! You show. Kirishima wins the you show off of the back of another poor Atami Fuji performance. But, you know, credit to Kota Nawaka recognizing Atami Fuji was leaning too far forward, steps to the side, slaps him down, and now Kota Nawaka needs 13 wins in January to pressure for Ozeki. Atami Fuji aiming for an overwhelming charge, making a bit of distance to catch Kota Nawaka, but Kota Nawaka. The man's good. 